All right, Shalom. Mom. This is Brother Kashukwala coming back at you with another lesson, giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Rechakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. Uh, as you can see on the on the screen, what it says right there, and we all know, and uh, some of us brothers tuned in live to see what um, uh, this dude Trump. Had to say, and we all knew had the indication that he was going to declare a national emergency over the coronavirus, as you can see the title right here. All right, he had a live <clears throat> uh, a showing it lasted about like an hour, um, and I'm gonna read a little bit of this and then uh, do go into a little few other things and get some scripts. <clears throat> it says President Trump on Friday declared a national emergency over the coronavirus aiming at intensive disruptions to the economy and American life, announcing partnerships with uh, major U.S. companies to extend, I'm sorry, to expand testing capabilities while saying he believes the crisis will pass. Exactly. So one thing I want to focus on right here is announcing partnerships, okay, announcing partnerships with major U.S. companies. And the major U.S. companies that he partnered with was Target, Walmart, Okay, Quest Diagnos Diagnostics, another company called Roush. Okay, and the one thing that we do know is a lot of Walmarts have been closing down for certain particular re reasons. Now, you wonder why he partnered with these uh, particular um, companies, like such as Target and Walmart, places where certain Targets and Walmarts are shutting it down around the, around the scene. You got JCPenney's and and Kmart's and Kmart been done, but all these other type of facilities being eradicated, Sam's Club gone, okay? Uh, uh, you can see things happening, and there being these different, you know, grocery stores that are closing down or being set up as detention and concentration camps, ultimately, when you think about it. And usually, they're in the, um, the hood, you could say, okay? So he's partnering up with these uh, these companies to prepare, and there's a reason why he declared a national emergency. There is a reason why he declared a national emergency. Okay, the definition, okay, behind it, or pretty not the definition, the things that he can do with declaring that gives him a certain amount of power that he can exercise. Okay, which most people think is just like, well, okay, you know, whatever, or good. Declare the national emergency because that means you're giving aid. When you when you watch this, he gave fifty billion dollars in the efforts to uh, cease the coronavirus outbreak. Okay, so I'm gonna keep reading. I'm gonna read these last two, and I'm gonna put this in the link um, in the uh, descriptions. It says the president also announced that he would likely be tested for coronavirus fa fairly soon. That's how he talks, <laughs> fairly soon, because he knows damn well he is infected with that. This dude and his, and, his, and his buddy right here, Pence, they're affected because all the individuals that they've been around for the last two weeks have shown up to get to be affected by this uh, virus. So, you know, damn well he is. He had a um, he had a live um, announcement, I think, the other day, like Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. And um, you can see you can just peep it. He was breathing heavily. They really try to you know, make it seem like he's okay and he's healthy when he really has this stuff. And it affects elderly. And yes, this dude is elderly. He's in his 70s, man. Okay. So it says, uh, after having been in contact with several individuals who have had, uh, who have self-quarantined or tested positive for the virus. Okay. So he's saying fairly soon because he doesn't want to, it doesn't, he doesn't want to seem hypocritical. He's trying to do all these things to implement the stop of a coronavirus, but yet he's the one who has it. <laughs> okay, so I just want to go back to the word or the phrase national emergency because he said that's two very uh, powerful words. <laughs> okay, so what a national emergency actually is called is the Stafford Disaster, uh, it's the Stafford Act, pretty much, as you can see right here. It's called Stafford Disaster Relief and Emergency Assistance Act. All right, the Robert T. Stafford Disaster Relief and Emergency Act is a United States federal law designed to bring in an orderly and systematic means of a federal natural disaster assistance. Okay, that goes back to what FEMA, 
we're going to get into that later on in this uh, these uh, paragraphs. Okay, so uh, for state and local governments carrying out the responsibilities to aid citizens, exactly. Nat he called a national emergency. He gave fifty billion dollars uh, to uh, certain agencies to carry out um, certain things to mitigate. Okay, because I, I'm using that word because Esau loves that fucking word, mitigate, to mitigate the situation. All right. It says Congress intention it was to encourage states and, lo and uh, local teas uh, to develop comprehensive disaster preparedness plans, prepare for better intergovernmental coordination in the face of disaster. And what's the disaster that America is facing? And actually, the the pandemic uh, that the world is facing is this coronavirus. It says uh, encourage. The use of insurance coverage and <clears throat> provide federal assistance programs for losses due to disaster. Exactly. Okay. As you can see in New York, the case is pretty much doubled in 24 hours. All right. It says the Stafford Act is a 1988 amend version of the Disaster Relief Act of 1974, which you can read up on. It says that it created the system in place today, which a presidential disaster declara uh, declaration or emergency declaration triggers financial and physical assistance through the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA. And we all know that, FEMA. We know who they are. We know the bullshit that they do. We know the delay in time that they take, quote unquote, 2005, when Katrina hit Louisiana. They were very slow to get over there and thousands died, okay? That was a mitigation process. They meant to have people get clipped in that certain situation. But it says a disaster declaration for an emergency declaration triggers financial and physical assistance, all right? Financial, look at that, okay? When you go and look at um, when he had the speech today, when he had that speech today, I'm just going to go for the day, uh, click on day. When he went and had the speech today, <clears throat> it opened up at 930 and was at about, uh, oops, sorry, Dow Jones. It opened up at 930 and it was it started off high going up a thousand points at 22 and it started declining again, going back down to 21 and it started decreasing and just staying at a stagnant pace as you can see here this right here when you get to here it boomed it just shot up to 23 right here was when uh president trump was speaking when he declared the national emergency and he uh, implement he told the things that he was going to implement to get these things uh situated with okay that's when the economy or the uh the stock market went crazy all right, because you got gullible individuals and stock buyers and investors who believe in the nonsense that is, is being portrayed. OK, so it does trigger a financial and physical assistance. OK, it says the acts gives FEMA the responsibility for coordinating government wide relief efforts. All right. Now, the reason why I want to get the word mitigate is because when you watch and I'm going to get the scripts in a sec, when you watch that. Um, that uh, pretty much that speech that he had today, they used the word mitigation a few times. The word mitigate means to relieve pain, make mild or more tolerable, reduce in amount or degree. That's exactly what the, the, the plan that Esau has in, in place to relieve the pain, relieve the pain of what? Them losing their kingdom. It says to make mild or more tolerable, to make what mild or more tolerable? Tolerable to the best of their ability, what they think they can, but they can't, they're doing nothing but increasing it, the prophecies. They're trying to make the prophecies more mild and tolerable because they can't tolerate it anymore. It says reduce in amount or degree. And what do they want to reduce in amount or a degree? The people, okay? Because the word degree means to downgrade. They want to downgrade the people, literally, mentally, and physically. OK, meaning they want to lower the population and downgrade the minds of the people. All right. I bet a lot of people ate this speech up. Like, oh, we're going to be OK. 
No, the cases are going to continue to ramp up and it's going to continue to be it's going to continue to be a, a pandemic going across. As you can see, the trending words, Corona, quarantine, pandemic, virus, epidemic, self, because there's a lot of selfishness on this place. Dr uh, draconian, you got to look that up. It's a good word. All right. Because a lot of people are starting to use the word draconian towards Trump. It says a uh, name and, and pandemonium. Exactly. A lot of craziness is going to be uh, started. OK, so using the word mitigate is a clear representation that Esau thinks he is God. So this is Second Thessalonians chapter two. And I'm going to start at one. It says, now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, and, our, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that day of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach is at hand. Exactly. This is the same thing Yahweh Shai had told us in the book of Matthew. And let me go ahead and get that really quickly. Okay, this is the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter. Bear with me. Okay, this is the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter. I'm going to get straight to the point. Verse 6, it says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. And we can see too. Okay, we can see too. Let me just type in airstrike in Iraq. Okay, because this happened just a, a day ago. So yesterday, it says uh, U.S. counters Iraq's con uh, condemnation of airstrikes on uh, Iran-backed militia f uh, facilities. All right, because a, a series of rockets was uh, was um, sent by Iraqi, you know, individuals and uh, killed, actually killed a few uh, Americans. Okay. So they retaliated with airstrikes, okay, which is an act of war. <clears throat> so it says, um, again, verse 6, ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Exactly. The end is not yet, but it says, be ye not troubled. The same thing Paul is telling the Thessalonians, that ye be not soon shaken in mind. We see the epidemic popping off. We see these wars. We see the prophecies. Don't be shaken in mind with these things or troubled. All right? But be strong in spirit while these things happen. they got to happen. It says, uh, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there be a falling away first. And that happened already, which was a slavery. It says, and that man of sin be revealed, and that's happening, and it's happening, and it's happening more and more every day. I'm doing it right here, okay? The son of perdition. Who's the son of perdition? The so-called white, the self-proclaimed white man who sends airstrikes to people, all right? The word perdition means destruction, okay? So verse 4 is the point. It says, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he that so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. So showing himself that he's a power, that he's the most high. That's why he loves using the word mitigate, because he thinks he can lessen the population by his hand. He thinks he can just send out the Stafford uh, uh, Act, whatever, and send five, $50 billion towards an agency to mitigate things. Okay. You can't stop the prophecies of the Lord, Esau, and that's exactly what you're trying to do, but it's not going to happen. Your economy is going to is going to collapse. Yes, that's going to happen. Your economy will fall. Okay? America will fall. People will get sick. Martial law will happen. Jake, you're going to get a, uh, the blunt end of this too because you didn't want to turn back to your power, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ. All these things will happen. They have to happen according to the scripts, and they are happening as we speak. Okay? And the scourges of amendment are hitting, but you're going to still do wickedly. And this, I'm speaking to the heathens starting with the Edomites in, in Jake, 
the two thirds of Israel, because you're one of alike. The scriptures say you're of your father, the devil, the so-called white man. You want to do the things of the white man. OK, because you disregard the prophecies that are happening and you stay in your wickedness and your wicked ways and you don't try to change. You're just like an Edomite because an Edomite does not. He's not going to repent of his wrongdoings. Even when the missiles hit, he's still not going to repent. He's still going to be a stubborn asshole. And that's what you Israelites are being, too. So the Lord is going to do a big mitigation of you, plus the heathens in a whole. You two thirds, you're just going to have to come back in your right mind, but you're going to have to get it in a, in a, in a um, very uh, torturous manner, you could say. All right. The elect 144 will grab will get salvation in a righteous manner. OK, so I just wanted to come with that quick um, uh, lesson just to break down really, you know, what a, um, a natural, um, uh, I'm sorry, national emergency is. It's, you can look it up. The Stafford a Disaster Relief an emergency assistance act uh, in the word mitigate the Lord willing y'all are uh, edified. I'm going to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Hakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. It's the brother Kashiqualo. Until next time, I'm going to say Shalom.